Welcome back to my channel, this is Toasted Gaming and today we're playing a random FPS game you know, in the series of every FPS ever made we haven't done one of these in a long time we played FPS games, but you know, we, we could put them in different categories but this one, this is one of those every FPS ever made so I don't know if you ever heard of this game so I just chose my character, that's it I played this game a long time ago and basically it's an fps game new hardcore case nice but we're just doing new case on medium so basically it's just a uh, an fps game you can play local multiplayer or you can play online multiplayer with nobody because nobody plays this game anymore and basically you just try to reach for the best level you can and if you die you play from the beginning it's randomly generated so every playthrough something is different we don't have any stuff i'm ready i'm starting operational i never played this alone i played it when it was a new game with my friend we played two players local multiplayer okay so by accident i'm playing Well, it's even shooting where I want them to shoot. I guess we are. Okay, so basically, you all that you do in this game is you aim and you shoot, and you can hit enemies with melee, and you breach doors. That's it. That's the whole game. There's some missions, but like, let's see, it's mostly everything that you know the same. There's a lot of boss fights, I think. So as you can see, there's map. So you just have to make all rooms turn from green to red. And you just breach every room and kill every enemy in that room. That's the game. And I guess it was successful enough, because in 2021 they made a sequel. Which I never seen, but from the reviews I read that it's way worse. I don't know how. I guess we didn't learn anything from this one. So I don't remember, but I wonder, can I slide in this game? Oh yes, I can. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sliding and breaching the doors. That's where all the fun hides in the games. And we also collect drugs. That's not... Well, I saw drugs in there. I wish I didn't play this tutorial. The game is so simple to understand. There is no point in playing... In playing training, but somehow I made that mistake. I actually remember it being pretty fun in co op. Training failed because of what? I'm not playing training anymore. I got four merits, so with merits we can buy stuff. I only have pistols, so there's obviously no point in buying attachments. We can get flashbang, more health, more revivers. I have Nobody to revive. Can I revive myself, I wonder? Or we can buy a new weapon. Let's buy a reviver. Hopefully I can use it on myself. And so how, this is how it goes. We got 22 hours, not real time. And we choose our path. That's our main objective. Main boss of the gang. And his name is Rotislav Slav. Interesting name. So now we choose our path. How are we gonna go? We're gonna go through something tough. Okay. Okay, we're in the game. So basically what you saw in the, mood, in the training, it's the same, except now on every bridge room we get slow motion. You know, you know that coolest part from every Call of Duty? You open the door, you go into slow-mo and then you shoot everybody. This is what this game is. Except you do it on every single room in the house. So is that fun? Well, maybe it has its fun moments. Especially when you play co-op. Because when your friend can breach one door while you breach another. Wait, that's a boss. And he's down. Explosions. And graphics, well, nothing special, but I like the style. That's why I like 13 and something else that uses the same style borderlands it's not totally the same but it's on that side you 
bastard. I don't even need to hit him, I just slide into him and he's down. What a weak enemy. Defuse, I have 20 seconds to defuse. What we are? Oh shit, I'm gonna lose my first level. Yeah, definitely not in here. And this door is locked. And we're dead. Damn it! On my first try. <laughs> Same objective, you just need to seize the evidence. Breach the door, shoot the enemy, you repeat. What's different compared to training? Nice one. Is that once you uh, clear all the rooms, all the enemies are killed, all the evidence seized, then a lot of enemies are coming after you, they're all running. You're no longer breaching, you're trying to get to the exit. And that could be fun. I don't remember if it's fun, but it might be. What the hell? Is this so stupid because of uh, auto generating maps? Because I mean, look at this room. There's this thing, this armchair near the table. Okay, okay, okay. But like, it looks stupid. This whole part. But what's done best is this. What? So you must jump over it to get to sit on the sofa? And when you're looking at that phone? Also, I can't jump in this game. That is so dumb, that's the dumbest design I've ever seen. So what I like is that it's one of those games where you don't think at all. As a teenager I used to play a lot of Painkiller. Because I would just turn on the music that I love. And I would just play through the whole game and I would... I don't know, my brain... Just black out or something. Because hours would pass and all I did I was running in circles and shooting enemies. And it was so fun. This is not the same, but very close. This game can give me this feeling. Okay, I need to clear two more rooms. I have no health. This is gonna be bad. We need to at least finish one level somehow. Because otherwise I lose and I get nothing. And more replacements are coming. So I did everything because that way, if I remember right, we get more upgrades and that's important. Some brain dead enemies. Ow! And we finished the level. So we almost leveled up. When you level up you get traits and traits are the only things that stay with you after you die. You know, like in every roguelike game. So that's cool. We got 10 merit. We can buy a lot of stuff, but we need health kits. Okay, this level supposedly is easier. It's hardest for level. I, it's the hardest level I could choose, but it's the easiest one. So there is this new thing where it says free. It means that after we breach three doors, we can unlock this place. I think, or we have to find three, uh, three computers, something like that. Oh yeah, so we just have to destroy these things. We destroy three of them, and then that door gets unlocked. Probably something special behind that door. Enemies are so dumb in this game, and they get glitched a lot in the maps. They don't understand these auto-generated maps, and I get them. It's tough for everybody. Oh no, reinforcements are coming. We could we could finish the level now, leave this place, but shit, I want to collect everything. That's how I play video games. I always, well, if the game is not too bad, I always try to do all the side missions. And unlock all the upgrades. More reinforcement! I don't know if I can survive this. There's more rooms, there's still two left. 
I need better weapon. I'm tired of using this pistol. Bad idea, bad idea, bad idea. We need to do one more slide elimination. And I definitely need more health. Triple elimination. So flashbang is pretty worthless. You get just one flashbang and that's it. Unless I'll get one every level, but then still, I don't like it. Boom, we did everything possible. Let's finish the level. Oh shit, no, 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 no. I put in so much work into this level. More enforcements, nope. I'm leaving. <laughs> that was so risky. Oof. We got level 2, beady eyes. And now we can also add beady eyes trait. So that means we're gonna improve our aim down the sides by 25%. Cool. This time we're gonna be hunting this guy. That prisoner looking guy. Cool. We got way better weapon now. It's gonna be easier. I don't know. It's gonna be more fun. Yeah. How is that UMP-45 so strong? Yep, this is gonna make game so much easier for me. It's so much more fun to play with this. I don't need to click every single time, you know, just to shoot one bullet with a pistol. I only had 9 bullets, you know? I only needed 7. That's how good this weapon is. What the hell was he doing? Hiding behind the corner. What the hell? Just six guys standing there in their prisoner outfits. In the room that has nothing fun at all. But we only have 13 bullets on our best weapon. So this is gonna turn to crap soon. Really don't want to go back to using that pistol. Huh, nobody's coming. Take this! Okay, that was pretty nice. I still think Flashbang was a very bad purchase, but that looked nice. I like how grenade hit his body and then flew away and then everybody got flashed. Beautiful. We can actually just use one bullet in every single enemy. That's such a good way of saving ammo. Somebody is still aggro. Who the hell is screaming at me? Nice, that was the first time the game tricked me. I did not expect enemies to open the door. We reached level 3, unlocked shades. We can have 3 traits at the same time, so that's cool. Also, we have 12 merits. Ooh, now what do I want to buy? So what does Shades do? Immune to stun. Were I stunned before in this game? I don't think so. Okay, so buying that shotgun was a very bad idea. Because we can only have one secondary and one primary weapon. So this is not helpful at all. Okay, huge room. This is gonna be tough. What? Don't... Yeah, yeah, there had to be more. I was like, what? There were only four enemies in this huge room. Something's not right. Ah, flashbang would have been perfect in this room. I can't even see them. Ah, this room sucked. I didn't like this room at all. Stupid stuff was in my way, I couldn't see anything.
Yep, we destroyed all the assets. Oh, okay, assets mission wasn't even there before. That came out of nowhere. Well, after we saw first first assets, that's when it appeared. Flashbang! I don't even know if it was a, if it was a good idea. It was, it was. There's an Okay, okay. We died last time we saw a bomb. This time. We're not fine, there's still one minute left. We need to defuse another bomb in a minute. Hello? Okay, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Where is another bomb? Uh, it's in floor one. Wait, does it show? Nope. Maybe there's one more room that I haven't been in. Okay, I don't like this. It was very easy until we found the bomb. God damn it. Yeah, it's in this room. And the bomb has been defused. We did everything, except we need one more evidence. Holy shit, what the hell was that? Looked like army came. Ow. I lost. I had like 100 HP. What the hell? I'm just leaving this level. The army guys are too tough for me. So this level had boss? I think we met him in the beginning of the room. I don't remember. Now we get to choose out of these three. Which one's the hardest? We're going with the hardest. That's why we're doing it today. This one is supposed to be super hard. Let's go. Oh, it shoots bursts. Oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't like bursts. Not a fan of bursting. And enemies are way more tough than before. Probably I'm gonna die on this level. Okay, okay, fast, 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 we need to defuse another bomb. I have no idea where that is. I have no idea what just happened. I think I shot fire extinguisher. Okay, I'm stupid. We only have 20 seconds. I forgot about the bomb. It's on floor one. Oh, it's here. Ooh. I almost screwed up. I know, I know, I know. Bomb, don't worry. I'm here. And reinforcements. Oh, I'm scared of reinforcements. It's gonna be those tough army guys. I don't want to see them, meet them, or do anything sexy or not with them. They don't target. He's down. He sucked. Cool. I love shooting fire extinguishers in this game. But I really need health, and there's reinforcements coming! Oh my god, just stop it! Hitman even came. Okay, somehow I found a lot of health. That's cool. I actually like this game. I just love to play games where shooting is good and that's all you do, you just walk and shoot, nothing else. That's why as a kid I fell in love with Call of Duty games. Nice. And this game is not bad. Levels look dumb because, I mean maps look dumb, but it's because it's randomized. Every single time you play, so... It's expected. But... Combat feels good enough. 
and it's fast game. Also, difficulty is fine. You know, not too hard, not too easy. And I really like roguelike games. So, this makes it even better for me. I have 69 health, nice. This was a bad idea. Reinforcements are coming and I decide to... And I decide to go into that room. Okay, come at me. What else? Damn, they're stupid. No, I'm stupid. No, I'm stupid because I have no ammo and no health now. Holy shit, there are so many of them. Oh no, reinforcements are coming and I have 9 HP. Game, are you kidding me? That's it, under the line for me. Oh shit. Sliding attack. I have 6 HP now and there's reinforcements. They have arrived. I'm down. Somebody heal me. I'll just use my own reviver. Let's go. That's it? Bomb defused? Yes, that is it. More reinforcements? Are you kidding me? I have no health. There's way too many reinforcements in this level. This level is hard. Way too hard. But it wouldn't be as hard if I played with somebody else, not alone. He's not, so what? Also, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die unless game gives me health. It won't. I'm dead. And I have 11 ammo. 11 bullets. Oh, they're all coming in. Can you come closer? I can't even see you. Okay, one more reviver. Let's go. Ah, oh, there is no way I can do it with this weapon. I need to take down target. How? How am I supposed to take down target if I cleared every single room? Also, I remember killing one special target. So that means game is glitched, I guess. Yeah, we did everything else. Let's go. We didn't die somehow. So this level, this next one is even harder. Let's go. We also got sting grenade this time. <laughs> floor 2, bomb is on floor 2. We need to get to floor 2 and find a bomb in 3 minutes. Oh, this is gonna suck. Oh, this already sucks. Let's go fast, huh? Wait, I am on floor too. What? You know what? Let's try grenade. Bad moment right now, but I just really want to. And not even everybody died. I guess we need smaller rooms for that. Wow, is it taking them this long? We're not coming. Hmm. Oh, shit, they came! The target. Oh my god, that target is unkillable. Oh, we also got three grenades. Eat that. This was such a bad idea. I have 7 HP and I don't have any of those. Revive things, so I am dead. This is gonna be the end of the game for me. That grenade was very bad idea. And I can hear reinforcements. Did I kill anybody? Oh! My back! 
Oh my, I have more reinforcements. I'm dead. Oh, I'm so dead. One army guy and I'm dead. Get out! Yeah, thank you, game. I'll definitely get out with no health. Only this room can save me. Oh my god, I'm dead. Fun, yep, I'm dead. This was fun. Okay, case failed, but guys, I like this game. Critical is pretty good. If you just want something mindless where you just breach your rooms and when you kill everybody there, you turn on, you defuse your bombs, you upgrade your weapons and your skills, and that's it. You want just you want an FPS game with roguelike features. Critical is pretty good, especially if you have somebody else to play it with. It's on consoles too. Um, and it's very cheap, I think, if I remember right. So, you know, I can play it offline, online, and yeah, I would recommend it. I would recommend it for you guys to at least try it. I might even play it again after I'm done with this video. You know, just I'll go through all the easiest paths to try to finish the game somehow. Because if you go through the easiest ones, you could probably finish it in a hard. So yeah, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.